Wow, Catherine, what are you doing? I'm practicing for today's Bible story. Oh, the story of Joshua and the walls of Jericho? Yes, that one. Yeah, it's very tuneful. Mm, thanks. I think you need to go and get more practice. Rude. So on today's Sideshow, we have discovered the worst sound in the whole world. <laughs> okay, okay. Today, we are actually going to continue learning about the Bible yes. and the unlikely heroes that God used. Yes, and today's unlikely hero is Joshua, who was a commander of God's army. That's right. And last week we learned that the Israelites wanted to take over the city of Jericho. And remember, Rahab protected the spies. Mm -hmm. Well, now was the time for Joshua to take the city of Jericho. Mm. And so Joshua was going to show us that following God's instructions brings victory in your life. So good. Okay, James. Mm -hmm. To tell this story, yeah. I need you to play a really important part. Oh, uh, you want me to be God? No. no. Uh, Joshua? No. Oh. A little bit bigger. Here, just think bigger. bigger. Yes. Okay. Who, who would you like me to play? The wall. <laughs> the am. wall. Yes, the wall. Mm -hmm. You want me to play a wall? I am, Catherine. I am a classically trained actor, and I... you want me to play a wall? Oh, that's why this won't be very hard for you, since you're so classically trained. Let's go. All right, today's story comes from the Old Testament in Book of Joshua, Chapter 6. Are you the wall, James? Yes. I, I don't know how to do my face. It's okay, just, just be the wall. Be the wall. Just be the wall. Be the wall. Can you hurry up? My arms are aching. <laughs> All right, you see, Joshua and his army knew that it was time to go into Jericho. And what God instructed him is exactly this. The Lord spoke to Joshua and said, look, I have given you Jericho, its king and all its fighting men. March around the city with your army one time every day. Do this for six days. All right, six days six around days. the wall. Here we go. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Oh, that's right. I'm not following instructions. Walk around the wall six times. All right, here we go. And the instruction afterwards said, blow the trumpet on the seventh day. Right. And the walls will come down. And, sh and the, what else did the, this priest have to do? Shout. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, to be a wall or not to be a wall? <laughs> that is the question. And when Joshua and the army followed God's instructions, guess what happened to the wall? It came down. Such good acting, James. Way to go. Way to go. Bravo, everyone. Bravo. Wow. I mean, it must have been so confusing for Joshua to get those instructions from God. Blowing trumpets and screaming and just walking. Yeah, must have thought it was a bit of a joke. I, I don't know why God didn't just say to Joshua, hey, Joshua, invent dynamite and blow the walls up. Well, you know what? No matter what, though, it's important that we follow God's instructions. And sometimes that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But we have to believe and do it. So, where by chance, Catherine, might we find God's instructions? Right here, James. Right here. Yep, in the Bible. So, if you have a Bible, here's what we want you to do. Read it. Follow the instructions. If you don't have a Bible, then get your parents to go out and buy one for you. Yes. And listen, like Joshua did, listen and follow the instructions. That's right. And if you don't have a Bible, we would love to get you one. So make sure you contact one of us. Yeah, absolutely. See, if we follow God's instructions, we will have victory in our lives, just like Joshua. So let's ask April about that. Okay. Hey, April, how do we have victory in our lives? That's a great question. 
How do we have victory in our lives? Well, Joshua had victory in his life because he followed God's words. There were so many intricate instructions, um, how many times to go around the wall, how many trumpets to blow, and to carry the Ark of the Covenant. Have you ever built a Lego? Do you sometimes look at the box so that you know what's gonna be at the end? Well, in our lives, it's kind of like building Lego. Sometimes we wanna skip ahead a few steps because we wanna to get to the final product, but we have to follow the instructions so that we can get the right product in the end. You guys, for our lives, we have a book of instructions. It's the Bible. And if you read it, it has all these detailed instructions about how God can help lead us to victory in our lives. That was awesome. Thanks, April. Let's have some talk time at home. Why do you think Joshua followed God's instructions? How and why should we follow God's instructions? Let's pray, everyone. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us instructions through your word, the Bible. Help us to read it, to obey it, to apply it in our lives, and so that we can have victory in all the things we do for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, it's challenge time. Do, 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 okay, we have the walls of Jericho. Woo! This is uh, Catherine's wall, this is my wall, and the idea is to knock each other's walls over by blowing our trumpets Woo! onto the earth ball and knocking it over. The person that knocks over the wall the first wins. This is so hard. Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh, Here oh. we go. All right. Three, two, two. one. it over for you. Good job, James. Oh! Thanks, Thanks for watching Dan. the sideshow. Where's our, where's our trumpet? <laughs>